What's up guys, it's Oblivious Gamer here with another video. So just recently we just got a lot of information, screenshots, and footage on the next Trials game, which is The Legend of Heroes Kuyo no Kiseki. Now if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. So Falcom has been developing a new Trials game for a little bit now, and in the past months they have been releasing bits and pieces of information about the characters, the plot, and the combat of the game. A big thing to note is that this will be using Falcom's new engine, since after Hajimari no Kiseki, they opted to transition to a newer engine. And looking at the screenshots and footage, you can see this game is looking really good, especially if you compare it to like the previous titles. A lot of information was released, so I would just be going over some of it and giving some of my thoughts. I will leave the links in the description if you want to check things more in depth because there is quite a lot of information. So to begin, this game will feature a new cast of characters, with the main character being Van Arkwright, a young Spriggan with blue streak black hair and deep blue eyes who works mainly in the old town of the capital city Edith. Although he began working as a Spriggan almost by sheer coincidence, he seems comfortable with his way of life, and even though he complains when he has to deal with bad jobs, he still makes sure to handle it. They also mention like he's like cold and pragmatic. Overall, I like his character design, his blue jacket looks very cool, and I find his weapon very interesting, the style of it, since as you can see, it's not your typical sword. And a thing to note also, it seems to have the handle, and it looks like it has like a trigger to shoot. So I'm wondering if this is going to be like a weapon that you can change, you know, between like close range mode and a long range mode. Or maybe like the trigger is to work like a power up or a boost for the sword. So I really like that. Or it could just be for decoration. But I'm hoping they actually do something with it. Next character is Agnes Claudel, a first year student of Aramis High School, a prestigious academy in the capital city. A girl with a neat and gentle atmosphere and beautiful long blonde hair, but great willpower behind her cool eyes. Upon learning that someone stole the orb meant left to her by her great-grandfather, who passed away due to certain circumstances, Agnes avoided consulting the police and the Bracer Guild for some reason, and instead puts in a request at Arkwright Solution Office which accepts any job. Now for this character, I think she looks good. I am hoping she's more of a strong willed character because she seems she could be like your main female lead character. And I'm hoping she isn't like one of those, you know, cutesy klutz type character. I don't know, I never like those types of characters and I feel it can be very hard for a character with those characteristics to show growth. But overall, we still have more to see of her, so... This is just like a specific introduction. Next character is Fairy Al Fayed. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. A girl with brown skin, short styled hair, and a petite physique who is also a young member of the high ranking Jaeger Corps Kurka soldiers. Upon receiving word that Jaeger Corps she has previously networked with has suddenly gone missing, Fairy initiates her own search. Meanwhile, she attempts to contact the Republic Spriggans that she heard rumors about. Her character design seems cool. I really like her assault rifle. She is a Jaeger, so she probably has seen her fair share of combat. The thing though that I am wondering is, most of the characters are getting actual, not just physical descriptions, but they're also getting like a little bit of a description of their personality. She doesn't though, so I am wondering what type of personality or what sort of personality will she have. The next character is Aaron Way, a playboy who made a name for himself as a philander in the massive eastern quarter while being a master of sword and fist of the moon flower style. One of three major martial arts styles, he never stops attracting the attention of others with other feats such as earning heaps of money at a casino and performing sword dances in the eastern theater as a female role. He seems a little bit cocky, I don't know why he gives me the vibes that he's gonna be like a cocky character, have this cocky attitude to certain situations. I like his design overall. I am looking forward to see his fighting style though, that's one of the things. Because apart from Master of Swords, they mentioned Fist. So I am wondering if that will be like a combination when he's fighting enemies. And they also say there's four more characters to be announced, but they just haven't yet. Then they released some information about the Republic of Calvert, one of the largest nations on the continent located in Midwest Samaria. 
They also talk about Spriggans, which is a profession of our main protagonist, a kind of underground profession born from the melting pot of diversity that is Calvert Republic, some days as detectives, some days as negotiators, and other days as bounty hunters. They're up for any job from any client. And finally, they talk about their new battle system, which has been revamped with a unique new system that seamlessly transitions from action battles on the field to command style battles. You can enjoy even speedier and more strategic battles. So in this game, you will be able to switch between action style and command style battles, which I personally think it's cool since it allows people to play in more ways and a variety of different styles, being able to switch whenever you want. That's something really cool depending on how you're feeling or how you want to take on an opponent. My only concern though is just the balance. And what do I mean by that? Well, when you have two systems working, like because technically they are two different battle styles, sometimes like if it's not done properly, one style might be preferred or might work more easily or might be easier to use than the other one. So I am just hoping they manage to find like a good balance so you never feel that like, oh, using the action style is much easier to fight or using the command style is much easier to engage enemies, you know? Like it would be nice if they managed to find like a proper balance where it's just a matter of you choosing which one you want to use and not, oh, it's much simpler to just use this style. But yeah, I'm really liking what we're seeing here. We can see with the command battles that it seems right at home with the Trails games, what we expect from them. So I am personally looking forward to this game a lot. I like the Trials game, especially Cold Steel 1 through 4. I really love playing those games. I think this game is looking fantastic. Like it's beautiful how the environment looks, the characters, how they look. I am quite surprised and pleased with this new engine Falcom is using. Because let's be honest, they needed to change their engine for this generation. Now I'm hoping this title doesn't take a long time to bring here to the West, because if you're a fan of the franchise, you are probably aware that recently the localization and bringing this game to the West takes quite the time. Hell, we still haven't gotten Hajimari no Kiseki, nor the Crossbell art games. Overall, we got quite the amount of information today for Kuya no Kiseki. I wasn't expecting this much, plus footage on how the combat flows. So, this is it for me guys. What are your thoughts? Are you looking forward to this game? As I said, I'm gonna leave links in the description if you guys want to check out. There's a lot more information, I'm just glossing over and giving some of my opinion and thoughts. This has been Oblivious Gamer, and I hope you'll have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.